So having yeah. high blood sugar is just known to accelerate aging. There's no question about it. But, yeah, then, but why though? Why? Yeah, yeah, why? The glucose that circulates in your body can be used for fuel, but it, co it can also inadvertently get attached to your proteins. And then when you've got this glucose attached to proteins, they malfunction. So that's part of this buildup. That's why you want to have some intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. restricted feeding, to turn over these glucuronidated proteins. And one of the ways to measure diabetes is to measure the glucose that's attached to your hemoglobin, which is an abundant protein in your red blood cells. And doctors take that measurement, it's called HbA1c, <laughs> that tells you how much glucose you've had in your body roughly for the last month. Because hemoglobin lasts the, in the body for about three months and it's turned over. And that number gives you a good idea of whether you've been eating badly and or you've got type 2 diabetes, which is the inability to utilize that blood sugar. Is that not the big thing that most people that are going to go, that are having this monitor, they're, they're not probably at type 2 yet, but they're trending in that direction if they don't do something about it. For sure. And, and that's why it's important to measure it even when you're young. Right. You don't want it to be going up and up and up. By the time it, you're type 2 diabetic, it's often too late. Mm -hmm. I've been measuring mine for the last over a decade okay, now. I'll bet the vast majority of the people listening to this have never done that or, right. or do it once every three years in some random lab test that they do, right? Yeah. So well, well doctors deal. don't pay a lot of attention to it until you're old or mm -hmm. really obese or you're starting to show signs of type 2 diabetes, which will accelerate your aging for sure.